Hey babes! In this video, I'm going to be transforming from Mark into Bianca Del Rio, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6, and I think that she was one of the most deserving winners ever. She definitely does drag clown makeup, and some people hate it, but I actually like it. Since she is one of my favorite queens, I love her style. I thought to do a makeup tutorial, and I think that she's one of the most polished and professional queens ever, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, I am first going to be covering up my eyebrows and doing my base. I want to just speed through this because I want to create a more in-depth video on how to do drag foundation contour and highlight. So comment below if you want to see that as well, but this is how I'm going to do the base. contour and Bianca doesn't really contour that much so I'm just gonna go in with my sleek contour kit in light and she doesn't do anything too harsh as well so keeping all of the contours really blended and my face just looks so weird right now without any eye makeup but it's okay but just run that throughout the usual places like the temples the cheekbones the jawline And for blusher, I'm going to be using Everbalena in Shy. Now, Bianca has really, really huge eyes. I'm first going to be plotting out where my crease is going to be. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution I Love Makeup I Heart Chocolate Palette. And I'm going to be using one more piece, which is this light brown colour. And apply that where your brow is supposed to be and create that rounded Bianca eye shape. And once you've got that plotted out, you can fill in your eyebrows. I'm just going to be using the same shade and just go a little bit higher and draw a straight line diagonally upwards. And I'm going to be using Stolen Chocolate, which is this darker brown colour. And apply that to the outer brow. You really want to take your time in making this even because, because you don't want to have uneven eyebrows. Right, I'm going to be using my Clown White and apply that under the new brow as a highlight. Bianca tends to use a pink tone on her crease as a transitional colour, so I'm just going to be going back in with my blush colour. Apply that above the crease. Blend it towards the brow bone. You want to do the lighter colours first before you go in with the darker colours because it just makes it easier to blend out. And also apply that really heavily on the lower lash line. If you want, you can swap between two different blending brushes and use one to apply and one to blend. I'm going to be using Stolen Chocolate again and deepen everything up. Just apply it to the same place as you've done before, but making sure that the pink is still showing through. You also want to apply the brown to the outer lid, like this. I'm going to go in with my glitter glue. This is the LA Splash Sealer. Go over the lid with this. And then I'm going to be using a silver glitter to pat over the top. Add 
And then after that, I'm going to go in with my NYC liquid liner and draw my liquid eyeliner and also draw over the crease to create that cut crease look. I know that Bianca likes to use the L'Oreal Linear Intense, but this is what I have and this is my personal favourite. I'm going to go in with Sugar Pilt and Bulletproof and set that and smudge that in a little bit. Before I go in onto my lower lash line, I'm going to go into my lower waterline and Bianca uses NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk to get that um, white eyeliner look, which she is really, really known for. That's a very white eyeliner that makes your eyes really big. So just apply that to the inner waterline. I've also applied my blue contact lenses. Bianca tends to wear like really pale contact lenses, so try to go for that if you are going for a Bianca Del Rio look. It's really piercing actually, like Ooh, like it looks so like piercing striking like those light eyes it's really cool and I'm going to go back in with my liquid eyeliner again and just apply that to the lower lash line create an opening as well on the inner corner and you want to again smudge that down with the sugar pill bulletproof and the brown eyeshadow And for lashes, I'm applying these spiky lashes from Japan, and Bianca tends to go for spiky lashes, so these are what I'm applying. And then on top, I've stacked four different lashes together. They're really, really small lashes, though. They're not as big as what Bianca tends to have. And then for the upper lashes, you want to apply the lashes into the inner corner of the eye, onto the lash line, and then lift the lash up and that's Bianca's eyes done and now I'm just going to be drawing a little beauty mark on the right side of my face under the eyes and now I'm going to be drawing on the lips I'm going to be using Sasha Cosmetics lip liner in black current and Bianca's lips are very rounded you start from the inner corners of your mouth and just make it really rounded and overdraw your lips a lot as well So you want to do that shape on the top and her bottom lip goes in here and then curves downwards a little bit before it goes back onto the inner corner. And you also want to use a black coal pencil on the outer corners just to deepen it up to vamp it up a little bit. I'm using the Ella Masca Sophie. And then to fill that in I'm going to be using Sleek Pout Paint in Pin Up. So I've just put on this simple black dress and I've done my hair like Bianca. This is like the second time that I'm trying to do this sort of hairstyle and it's not perfect like Bianca's, but it's gonna do for this video, okay? And I hope that you enjoyed the video, guys. If you want more drag tutorials, then please comment down below. I can't stop looking at the mirror because it t just doesn't look like me. <laughs> and I don't know if it looks like Bianca. Do you think it looks like Bianca? Let me know down below. And this has been Mark Zapanta, the Prince of Vanity, as Bianca Del Rio from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. And uh, let me know what you think, comment below, and give this video a thumbs up. Share this video to Bianca on Instagram and Twitter if you want. And don't forget to follow me on my social media as well. Links will be below, and I hope that you subscribe. Bye, guys!